Well, what are we doing, you might ask? Hi everybody, this is Thomas from Toy Trailer Host of Dang News. This is going to be kind of an, a little bit of a boredom video. Right here I got my speaker, my DJ speakers packed away. This is my PV260C amp. And you might have noticed that in a video called uh, Tyler and Friends, Tyler's friends from Ashford come to visit, you might have noticed that we blew some speakers with this amp. And I thought, why not have a little bit of a finale of some older crap I accumulated? You know, just kind of give them a nice little blow. So, um, this amp is nothing powerful. It's a standard, uh, 130 watt per channel. There's only two channels on this amp, both being mono, so nothing really impressive. But um, it does intentionally, being 8 ohms, chew through this stuff pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this thing out, plug it in, and uh, we're gonna see some smoke. Now, uh, for the victims list, oh, I just stepped on something. For the victims list, let's start off over here. This is a Sony. Mega Bass Dual Cone Speaker System. This came out of like a little, uh, this came out of one of those little, uh, oh, sorry, I'm just messing with the game here. This thing came out of like one of those little crappy, um, boom boxes that you see. Picked it up at the side of the road. I don't remember why, but I did. And I got these three Creative Lab surround speakers. An Altec Lansing speaker. And this Creative Lab, or not Creative Labs, this uh, realistic, this very old realistic power horn. It's probably gonna, it's kind of loud. Sounds like ass, but this thing it was mounted on the outside of the house. Uh, the reason why it's mounted in the outside of the house is that it was originally used for the uh, pool. I have no idea, I know it does take a lot of power, so it's gonna be pretty loud. But I just wanna go ahead and see how much it can take. It sounds like ass though, I know that. And, uh, of course, we're gonna, uh, you already saw what we're going to be killing them with. So we'll go ahead and put the amp out, and we're going to kill these suckers. All right, guys, we're all rigged up here. we got victim number one, as you can see. Took the dust cap off of it, and I really expected a lot more from Creative Labs. That's a pretty shitty woofer. I'm, I'm going to be quite honest with you. That's pretty disappointing. I'd expect a lot more from Creative Labs, but, you know, we got it rigged up. And for those who are wondering, well... Does this amp have any protection circuits? Well, not really, but it does have one thing that you commonly will protect your speakers, and that's called a compressor. Now, commonly what a compressor does is if you blast the lower notes, stuff that can commonly distort your speakers, it'll essentially bring down the notes and kind of even them out a little bit, so um, it sounds a little bit less distorted, and it essentially helps your speakers because it won't really blast the notes through the speakers. But this amp is so old that you can just simply flip that off. <laughs> of course, I'm just going full on bass here. I just, I just want to kill these things one, two, three. No hesitation whatsoever. Show no mercy. I just flipped on the amp. Oh, of course, it has to be turned on the power strip. There we go, buddy. That's... My electric bill is going to go up because of that. Alright, not really. It's not a very powerful amp, but... Of course, let's play some bassy music. I've got this bass test song that's uh, pretty bassy, you know. I don't know what zoomed in, alright? Okay, good. Uh, bass. Like I said, I'm going full on bass here. I just want to kill these things as fast as I can. <laughs> So, uh, bear with me here. Are you ready? Wow, that was so freaking boring. Ooh, smells interesting. Rather charred. Okay, that was pretty pathetic, actually. Victim number two, let's get it rigged up. 
All right, let's go. Victim number two. Oops. Wow. These are boring. <laughs> Jeez. This amp just chews through them like nothing. Okay, let's get victim number three wired up. Creative Lab speakers aren't doing anything interesting, so I got the Altec Lansing speaker wired up, so let's do it. Oh. Oh, come on. Why do I keep on doing that? Come on, man! Oh, it locked up. Oh, yeah, it really locked up there. Ooh. Ooh, smells nasty. Smells like a... Sounds like a, a mouse-infested shed. All right, let's get victim number four wired up. We got the old realistic power horn wired up. This is, might get actually pretty loud, so let's try. Really? That was actually kind of impressive. I've never heard so much bass come from a freaking, <laughs> freaking uh, piezo horn. I don't even think it's a piezo horn. It's clearly blown, but that was lame. Very, very lame. Ah, uh, okay. Let's wire up the other ones. Alright, the Mega Bass is wired up. I'm actually going to take it slower. Whoa, almost killed me. 